Welcome to Previewed, where friends don't let friends watch trailers alone. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. And today we're going to react, <clears throat> review, riff, and at the end we're going to rate the teaser trailer for the upcoming long-awaited second season Woo! of everyone's maybe favorite or second favorite Netflix show, Yeah, The Witcher. Yeah. Stranger, Stranger Things are... No, no, I, yeah, yeah. I, I was, <laughs> I mentally went, I was like, well, what are the people favorite now? But yeah, no, it's just Stranger Things. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, I'll have you know that uh, I am now Mr. I will have you know. I'm Mr. I read the book. So I am, oh, I'm tw 10 pages away from finishing The Last Witch. Witch? Last Wish? Are you sure you can read? Last <laughs> Wish? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, wow. you, may, you may have just reading so problem. Yeah, you may have just speaking part. Yeah, you just look problem. at the page for a while, and then you like turn it. <laughs> yeah, just, and then you get to the end. Yeah, I did it, everybody. <laughs> uh, I almost finished the last wish. <laughs> I just want to say, last wish. Uh, I'm hoping to read the next couple books before December when this comes out. It comes out December seventeenth. Oh, okay. So. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, for real. And happy Hanukkah and happy Kwanzaa. Uh, oh, it's wow. going to be a busy, busy December. Yeah. After watching the first season, what was yeah. a year and a half ago, uh -huh. and being kind of confused by it a little uh -huh. bit, it was good, but like, I don't, wait, this doesn't seem like it took place after the last episode was happening. Yeah. And reading the first book now, it's like, oh, this, yeah, this is the last wish. It's, it's very much like uh, Geralt kind of being like, oh, yeah, I... I had an adventure here, and I had an adventure here. Remember this story? Yeah. Uh, so it was like, uh, that, that, yeah, that was the first book. That makes sense. Um, so I know the second, the the other books kind of are more linear in fashion mm -hmm. with the overarching story. So I want to get to those because it's really good. I really enjoy the books. I know you've started them. Yeah. Um, but I really like the writing style, and it's a, it's very enjoyable. And I'd love to know. It, it feels like I know more. Yeah. Then I'm getting it from both sides. I wish sides. I could get into the video games too, though. I just, they're not, I also bought it on Switch like an idiot. Like an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, here's the teaser trailer for season two. So, I'm your destiny. You're much more than that, Cirilla. I need to understand some things. The world is changing. The center isn't safe for you anymore. What exactly is Kat Moran? You're home. Finally. Who the hell are you? Sometimes I feel so afraid. Burn the whole world. Facing your fear is not easy, but I am here for you. When I say run, you run. When I say hide, we have to stay. You hide. Run! Destiny has said that the world outside these walls is a dangerous place. But you can find power and purpose. Where is she? What if your prince is more than you're barking for? Are you sure you're ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Boom, 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 boom. Welcome back. <sighs> I remember you. I hate you. I don't like you at all. Ooh, no. I hope. I uh, yeah. Nifgard, right? Nifgard? Yeah. D doth protest maybe a little too much there, bud. No, with the, her? No, cause she she turned. Jennifer? No, Come not on. Jennifer. The, uh, the the other one. The one. Oh, like, oh yeah. yeah. Welcome back. No, her. Oh, yeah. I don't have a problem with Yennefer. I mean, she's got her issues. But, like, no, it was the other sorceress. Is like, she turned on everybody to help Nilf Nilfgaard? Sure. I think that's right. I haven't gotten that part in the book. It's been so long since I've seen the show. I don't remember everybody's names. Yeah. I'm just happy I remember Yennefer. So, yeah, dude. Uh, yes. You know what this looks like? Linear storytelling, and I'm here for it. Well, but here's here is why The Witcher is great. And why, that trailer actually, I think, like drove that point home to me. Is that 
linear storytelling, yeah, you could, you have like a large overarching story that's super important, but also you get the you get a little bit of the procedural like every episode is like what monster are we hunting? Mm-hmm. It's a little mm-hmm. monster of the week in a way that I love. It's the best. Yeah, it's the best. Of both it's worlds. the best of both worlds yeah. because like every other episode is like oh well we got to go kill some banshees. Oh yeah yeah awesome. What do those look like? Let's go get them. They yeah. would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for the the big buff man and his silver sword. Because <laughs> like it really felt like the first season after reading down the book. Because mm-hmm. I'm the guy now. Yeah. And seeing remembering some of the show, there were only a couple episodes that weren't really covered in the first book. Okay. Yennefer's origin was not yeah. in the book, although they're like how it happened was kind of in the book. Gotcha. Geralt's like we're kind of thinking to himself like, oh yeah, this is how it happens with sorceress. Gotcha. Um, and the last two episodes were like the big. The confrontation happens uh-huh. weren't were in the first book, so because uh, which the first ep- the whole first season it really felt like set up. Yeah, remember how we got to the end? I was like, oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Okay, this was this wasn't taking place in a linear fashion, and I really feel like this thing just started now. Okay, well, thank yep. God this was so awesome that where everyone was willing to wait almost two. No, no, we'll be waiting for two years to get the second season. Yeah, and now it's like, and now here we go because now it's on, and it feel that trailer made it look like it was on. Oh, in a pretty spectacular fashion. It is on. Yeah. And that girl's going to burn down the world. And I can't wait. Yeah. She seems to have uh, aged uh, a decent amount. Because yeah. she seemed a little young in the first season. Because obviously it was in the past. But like yeah. now that they like, get caught up with each other at the end of the first season. It seemed like it's like, okay, this makes a little more... She seemed just a little bit older now to be able to fight the world. Slash it's maybe, enough time it. for enough things to like have developed but not feel like I have to be reintroduced to these characters. Yes. Which is problematic sometimes. Like, when shows do, like, a big time jump, I'm like, oh, now i got to meet everybody again. Mm -hmm. And that's cool to an extent, but it's also kind of exhausting. Also, it wasn't this show's fault. I'm just glad that it's kind of worked out in its favor. That it was so awesome that we were able to wait through the pandemic to get the second season. Because this would have been out, like, maybe six months ago. Yeah. If it wasn't for everything that happened last year. Um this is great. Jay, how would you rate the teaser trailer for The Witcher Season 2? Man, this one's getting 9,000 out of 9,000 Banshees. So let's go fight them. <laughs> let's get them. Yum, yum. How would you guys rate this trailer? There we go. Let us know in the comments below or hop in our Discord channel where lots of fun, cool people are talking about lots of fun, cool stuff. We'd love to have you join the conversation. Link is down below in our description box. And while you're down, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole is extra, you silver sword carrying weirdo you. That was a good sword rack. I liked it. I, I enjoyed it, him yeah. practicing his sword on top I, of those they, giants. I like that they have a base. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love a base. Love a base. Uh, you know, it's going to be a good little origin story of like, hey, yeah, remember man. the time when you were a kid when we were mutating you yeah, here man. against your will, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, did you ever do that in, uh, in uh, when they put Map Maker in Halo? Did you build your Spartan a base in a map? No. I totally did that. Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. I bet you did. Yeah. Was it cool? Did it have a name like Fort Awesome or something? I don't remember. Oh, really? It wasn't Fort Awesome. I'm far more creative than that. Oh, okay. So, do you I don't remember. remember. Yeah. I don't think it had a name. It was just my Spartan Space. Okay. Spartan Space? Yeah. Cool. Spartan Space Delta? Yep. Cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, the video's probably to break. Yeah! <laughs> Please watch this. We would appreciate it. As much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.